Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, and um, uh, you can try the product, okay? So uh, there's a free version uh, and uh, there are monthly versions as well. So this is different than uh, our pricing models uh, just uh, some weeks ago. Okay, so uh, I have kind of divvied it up and uh, uh, due to uh, uh, a lot of your feedback uh, to offer something that is uh, a little more flexible. Okay, so um, when you subscribe to Bookmap, uh, you get access to the educational course. Okay, it's a four part course uh, that goes through uh, from the very basics of uh, understanding order flow, which a lot of a lot of traders don't understand uh, or have never uh, really gotten into basic market mechanics of why price moves uh, and um, uh, understanding that movement. And we're going to see it on all sorts of time frames, not just on uh, these little micro structural uh, moves. Uh, and then it moves on up into more advanced um, concepts uh, through the other the other. Uh, uh, parts of the educational course. And then you also get access to the advanced order flow webinars. Uh, they start at 11 Eastern, so in about uh, 25 minutes, and they're every day. The um, uh, book map uh, uh, advanced order flow webinars, they are, um, uh, they support the educational uh, course material, okay? We just see it in the live market, all right? Uh, let's see, uh, Joan, uh, how do you turn off a, a squawk in Bookmap? Not sure what you mean by squawk, uh, but uh, happy to cover that for you. Okay, uh, maybe you're talking about some of the automated uh, voice. Um, let me know a little more specific and I can help you with that. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go over that. Um, well, let's go over it quickly now. Okay, so you're probably up here. Um, under and go under uh, studies configuration and I, I don't know exactly where you are but let's uh, let's just go through iceberg detector um, there's voice enabled here you probably have that on okay and if you do and it's you know like if I turn it on now I'm gonna get an iceberg uh, order or this voice alert uh, very frequently because it's on size of one right now if I put this on a size of 50 I'll very infrequently I'll, I'll get it uh, large trade alert, same thing here. Uh, if I select it, uh, and um, yeah, so I'm already getting it here. So uh, just I I just de I just de deselect it, and that should do the trick. Okay. Hmm. I see what you mean. I continue to get it here. So that's a bug. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I mean, I get, it stopped now. So um, we'll try that. Let me know how it goes. Uh, that should do the trick. So I guess it loaded a bunch of uh, trades and then uh, uh, just uh, uh, spewed them out to me. Um, okay. So let's uh, let's continue on here. Uh, okay. So that's the education, and uh, let's go through what you get with Bookmap here. We'll take a look at the, the Bookmap website. If you scroll down, there's an intro video here, information about Bookmap, testimonials. Uh, there's Bookmap for equities, okay, so through NASDAQ Total View. Uh, and then uh, scroll down a bit further. Uh, this is how you connect Bookmap. So Bookmap is a visualization software trading platform, okay? We are not a data provider. Uh, you can see that there are some trading platforms here like NinjaTrader, uh, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay, we are a platform just like they are. Uh, the only difference is that um, uh, we're connecting via the API of these three platforms. So you can connect that way. Um, uh, however, uh, we would prefer it, it you're just going to get cleaner data if you can connect directly to your data provider like CQG or Rhythmic or Gain or IQ Feed, uh, Transact, and then that Dev Experts is for that US equities NASDAQ, all right? Uh, there's also a few different brokers up here. Stage 5 offers, I think, just about all of these except for Transact uh, and NASDAQ, uh, and, uh, and Tradeavate is for CQG. 
okay? Here are the packages that are available. So on monthly version, or you can get a 20% discount clicking here, uh, and get, you can see the uh, um, yearly, you, you'd have to subscribe yearly though. All right, so there's a digital version and there's a global version, okay? The digital version here is free. Okay, no credit card details, nothing is required. You can just download Bookmap. Now, what you get with that is connectivity to GDAX, and you only get one instrument at a time. So it is limited here, but you do get real-time data uh, to uh, one digital currency like Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum if you want. And um, uh, you get the heat map, you get the uh, uh, visualization of the, of the volume, the order flow, et cetera, you get everything. Uh, you don't get the add-ons though, that comes with the Global Plus. Uh, you're also um, a, able to, in, in simulation, you can use the one-click trading, okay, but not in the real market. Uh, displays only one instrument and you only get basic education and uh, you don't get access to that advanced education. Uh, and um, you also uh, get uh, very limited support, okay? Uh, Digital Plus version. Uh, is uh, $37 per month, and what this includes is um, uh, the ability to trade right from the chart here uh, with a, you know, in a live account. Uh, you'd have to open an account. Uh, you also get access to the education, and you get full support, all right? Uh, and you can also uh, um, access up to 20 uh, digital currencies, all right? Uh, you also get the record and replay, which is a really good feature. Uh, for uh, debriefing your trading or uh, practicing uh, execution. All right, the global version, all right, it's, uh, as you can see, $12 more. Uh, you also get, um, uh, well, it supports uh, over 10 different uh, uh, trading platforms. That's these up here, okay, or, you know, data providers. Uh, so it supports futures and it supports U.S. equities, okay? You will need to provide it, but it does support it. Uh, you also get the education, advanced education, uh, and uh, full support. Global Plus, you get all of that except or including uh, the one-click trading right from the, the chart, as well as these add-on indicators that we put together uh, that are proprietary, uh, especially for um, order flow uh, analysis, okay? So uh, you can ask me questions about this. I've got a full version here. Uh, the, lar the large lot tracker, for example, we're identifying not only large areas of liquidity, but specific players that are holding those that uh, large liquidity, okay? So we're getting very specific here. Iceberg tracker, we can see iceberg orders. Uh, we have an algorithm that uh, uh, can make the distinction. Uh, and uh, we're looking for those larger players who don't want to show high liquidity in the book. Uh, instead, they're going to use a hidden order, and that's an iceberg order. Right, and uh, we also have uh, in some imbalance indicators and uh, a correlation tracker for multiple markets. Okay, also you get that full support and uh, advanced education. All right, you can also follow us here on Twitter. Okay, uh, all sorts of uh, uh, new and uh, updated information every day. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel here. If you're new, uh, then I would uh, recommend uh, watching some of the intro videos and then some of the features and components videos. And then these are the concepts that we go over in the advanced order flow webinars. So these are very concise, two to three minutes that cover the meat of the concept. Uh, and then the details are covered in the live markets. Okay, if you are new, I forgot to cover this, uh, to futures, uh, you can also get, uh, you can click here for a data feed. You can get a 14 day trial of a, uh, of a data feed. Uh, so that's um, uh, if you don't have anything right now and you wanna try Bookmap. And, uh, ah, and if you want a complete list of features, you can click here. All right, well, let's take a look at Bookmap and what's going on. We'll take a look at the NASDAQ. Uh, we can see the uh, 9.30 open right off to, the, to a great start uh, and uh, uh, been nothing but up uh, since, the, uh, since the open and uh, looking, looking strong here. Uh, so what are we looking at here? All right, so for a lot of traders, uh, unaccustomed to a book map, uh, this looks like very confusing chart, uh, or it can. Uh, it's actually um, really straightforward data here. There's only three elements on this chart. Historical best bid and offer, the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer, and the heat map, which is the, the recording of the um, evolution, historical evolution of the limit order book. 
the dome. So we take the data from the dome, paint it in the heat map, and then we'll uh, record it and plot it onto the chart. So you can see what's going on outside of traded volume. So to better uh, demo this, let's put a candlestick chart on here and let's strip off all of the uh, data here, those three elements. Okay, and let's close, we, we can see we have an indicator panel down here for the cumulative volume delta. Uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, hold off on that uh, for now and we're just gonna go through this candlestick chart. Okay, so this is a five minute candlestick chart. Uh, and uh, we all know what this is, open high, low and close over that five minute period. Okay, and we can start to read the uh, the order flow in here by the strength of the moves and uh, uh, the close of, of the moves and um, uh, you know, the wicks, if there's buying or selling pressure or exhaustion. But really, in the end, we're kind of guessing. Uh, we really don't know. Uh, and um, that's, uh, uh, just it's it's so it's opaque. We we don't know where the volume traded. We don't know why it stopped exactly here, because it's in a five minute period, uh, and that's it. And all of the information within this candle is hidden from us. We don't know uh, what's going on there. So uh, that that's a a real problem with uh, with bar charts. Okay, any sort of bar chart, any sort of aggregated chart. Okay, because it's aggregating the data, uh, and uh, and Bookmap solves that issue. Okay, uh, by um, just showing very simply the historical best bid and offer. So now we can start to see everything that happened within that five minute period. Okay, uh, and uh, we start to notice microstructures and those microstructures broken, uh, for example, down here. So, you know, your, your candlestick pattern, uh, you know, it, you'd probably be buying, uh, uh, well, it depends, um, you know, how, how you trade your candlesticks, but let's just go through this example. So here we are looking at uh, the bottom uh, before the, the U.S. Open here at 930, okay? And we're looking at microstructures here, okay? The candlestick chart is just aggregated data and, and then just plots it onto the chart. And, um, you, you know, you're not seeing all of this though. So for example, let's uh, let's take a quick look, right? Uh, here it, we broke, We you know, we, we see a pretty nice sell-off and breakdown and we go sideways here okay uh, and um, uh, here's the low okay we broke it here we trade back into the range and we break it again right and then look how we uh, we kind of have a little range here and we break that okay and I'm gonna take the candlestick chart off okay because none of that information is here on that candlestick chart and if uh, if you were um, uh, bullish uh, you know, you, you could look for entries in all sorts of areas here. You could look at some of the microstructures down here. Uh, and here's another one. Okay, they were all broken, and you can see the moves to the upside. Okay, so uh, if uh, you were bullish down below this area, uh, then you would look for this structure here to be broken. Okay. Uh, and then maybe looking to take uh, some profit. Now this would be very microstructural, but looking to take profit back up to the swing here, okay? Uh, and uh, and then maybe reloading back on a re, uh, retest here, as you can see it retested once and twice, okay? And it remained above this area here of this microstructure. That's bullish, okay? And we can see the, uh, uh, you know, this is all, all already giving us kind of a bullish uh, cue. Uh, and, um, uh, we uh, we continue back on up to where the swing up here. Well, there's a swing here as well. Uh, we break that, and uh, we don't quite break this one though, and we get another pullback. Where uh, to this little structural area? This is the kind of insight that we're starting to piece together uh, within Bookmap. Okay, and we go through this in the educational course. Okay, bigger picture, you can see another little structure here, and you can see the the retest here and here. Okay. Uh, and then finally, we do break above here, right here, okay? And then the bigger break is up uh, within this area here. And you can see a little little bit of a, a pullback as well. But the buyers step right back in. So all of that data is uh, just completely uh, um, uh, hiding here within that aggregated uh, five minute period of a candlestick, okay? Uh, so now the other part here that is hidden and we want to know, because this is important, uh, is the volume, the order flow. How is it trading? 
uh, and uh, where, where are those transactions taking place? So let's turn on the volume dots, okay? And we're gonna get a lot of insight here, okay? And this is just the second element. First element was the structure with the historical best bid and offer. Second element is now the volume. And very clearly here, we can start to see, look at the volume here. The bulls taking control up out of this range here. Uh, the bulls, nice cluster of, let me get rid of the, that's uh, kind of, let's get rid of the uh, <laughs> candlesticks again here. Um, yeah, so we see, it, look at this cluster of volume here and look at what type of volume it is. It's buying, okay? It's, a, it's aggressive uh, buying. And what I mean by aggressive is it's market orders. Someone's hitting the market order, they're lifting the offer. So let's zoom into this area and let me show you exactly what we're displaying. These are those two elements, okay? Uh, it's just historical best bid and offer uh, and the volume, okay? Best offer is red, best bid is green. Uh, this green dot here is a market buy. Someone hit the market buy button and they took liquidity off of the best offer. That's how it works, okay? The red button or the red dot here is a, uh, a market sell. Someone hit the market sell button. They paid up, in this case, you can see the spread, okay? They paid up two ticks uh, to do that. And that's why we considered it aggressive. And they took liquidity. They didn't provide liquidity. They didn't wait. Uh, so uh, uh, that's what uh, we're showing. And you can see, as I zoom out though, well, let me zoom back in because I want to show you, uh, we're showing you every single detail here. Uh, now, this is one dot here for one trade. Uh, so it's uh, a for a volume of one and it's a one lot. Okay, but um, uh, you can see though, as I zoom back out, okay, we're, con we're gonna consolidate that into bigger dot. Okay, and um, there you go. So it had to, had to actually zoom quite a bit. And let's make the dot size a little bit bigger here. Okay. Uh, and, and so now you can see the, um, what type of volume and who's kind of in control here on the overall. So you'll see some of these pie displays at some of these areas, okay, like this, for example, or this. Um, this is showing you the overall delta. There's so many transactions that took place here that we need to uh, show you the, the overall. Uh, and um, uh, there's more aggressive selling here than buying. Okay, so about three quarters of this is selling. All right, so that's what we're showing in the uh, in the volume, and uh, look at the insight that it's giving you. Okay, so you can see that uh, the nice little cluster here, uh, and then you can see that they still remain in control here. And this is very typical. Look at the little swings to the to the downside. Uh, we see um, uh, some selling. Okay, didn't it didn't completely exhaust out, but we're uh, we're not seeing much, right? And it doesn't stay down here long. In fact, it, it's just a, a quick test and then it rotates back up and trades back into the uh, P-shaped high volume profile uh, in these areas. That's why uh, that um, uh, volume profile works pretty well uh, in understanding of how these markets trade. Okay, anyway, that's just an example of a, of a uh, particular trading strategy, but Bookmap shows this uh, uh, extremely well. All right, so that's the second element looking at the volume. Uh, now let's add that third element on, and that is the heat map. Okay, here we go. So uh, this is uh, a complete picture now of what's going on. Uh, and, and why is that? Well, because there's so many times that uh, we've seen here um, good volume patterns, okay? Good structural patterns, good volume patterns, but we don't know who's on the other side of the trade. Okay, where are they bidding? Where are they offering? Is there a lot of uh, uh, bidding pressure or a lot of selling pressure? We want to know that. Uh, and uh, uh, why, for example, did the market stop in this area and in this area? Well, here, here's your answer. And it's because there's high liquidity here. It, it absorbed the, uh, the selling. Okay, so the sellers hit this area. Uh, and uh, these guys, this is longer term liquidity. These are most likely larger players staying in the book. Uh, and uh, uh, they've been waiting for quite a while uh, and they traded. Okay, so these larger players are long. Okay, that's a lot of insight. Now they absorbed on the way down here and you can see it rebounded. Okay, or retested where it broke from here. It's very typical. 
And then it came down again here, right? And it, it was absorbed another time. They probably had more liquidity, even lower. On this, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, they were down quite a bit. Um, but um, uh, we've got a lot of different things going on at this area of interest, okay? Uh, number one, uh, well, we see the high liquidity. Number two, look at the, look at the figure here, 6,900. Okay, larger players usually start placing their liquidity around this area in a zone. Okay, so they're willing to absorb. A lot of times you'll see it flush through this area. They'll absorb it all, uh, and uh, if if they're bullish, um, and then uh, and then we'll see the uh, uh, you know the uh, reversal start to take place. In this case, it happened immediately. Okay, so there's different variations to to this, but understanding and reading this information is is critical. Okay, so this limit order book uh, is going to really help you. All right. So how is this information derived? So let's let's uh, let's take a look here, and we'll zoom in. All right. So uh, let me zoom in a little bit more, and also vertically here. All right. So here is our dome and book map. Okay. Uh, everything to the right of this vertical white line here. Is real time okay this is the market right now everything to the left here is historical okay it's what happened um, and um, uh, looking at the price ladder here we can see our best bid and offer here okay it's also here in this window uh, here's our last traded volume right here okay and then uh, we're looking at the uh, depth of market here on the offer and our depth of market on the bid okay 109 contracts down here at this uh, 65 and three quarters okay uh, 53 uh, contracts up here. Well, they're pulling now, just as price is coming up. But the insight we're getting from this is uh, is fantastic. Okay, now he's jumping back in. Okay, so you can see when these numbers change uh, in in the current market here, the heat map is going to reflect that change. Okay, you're going to see uh, uh, get brighter or darker or change color uh, based on what's in that limit order book. Okay, so it's a graphical representation of these numeric values. When they change, the heat map changes. The difference here is we take that data and we project it onto the chart historically. Okay, so this area here, uh, we, we're starting to gain a lot of in, uh, understanding of what's going on here. Okay, this guy here started to pull a lot of that liquidity, or these players here, I should say. As price is coming up, they, they don't want to necessarily be sellers here. Okay, some did, okay, but a lot didn't. Okay, if if they really wanted to uh, to sell up here, they'd stay in the book. All right, so we're getting all sorts of insight and understanding now. We have the volume. We know who's in control. We can see the buyers continue to lift the offer here, but where are they lifting it into? Okay, and how are they behaving on the other side of the trade? Okay, we can answer those questions emphatically. All right, so uh, these sellers here, they're pulling. They're probably pulling and adding higher because look at the same time that uh, this is pulled you can see that high liquidity is starting to to uh, add higher here okay so um, uh, if if they're going to pull here and buyers are, are in control well there's a some a number of scenarios that can uh, play out but if the um, if the buyers want to reach that high liquidity this is where they're going to have to go 73 okay we come one tick away from it here uh, and uh, uh, kind of exhaust out a little bit here. Oh no, I'm sorry, we did test into it. Let's uh, let's take a look. Yeah, so we tested right into it here. Okay, and what what traded here? Okay, at 73, nothing, not not one not one transaction. Okay, so it exhausted out on the buy side. Okay, and um, uh, we rotate lower, and then the sellers start to come in here. Okay, and they start to uh, to to hit the bid. Okay, we see a little cluster of selling here. It's, it's not a lot, but um, uh, we don't see much down here. Okay, so buyers are going to start to read that, and they're going to jump in. Uh, and uh, now we're starting to read the auction together with the order flow. Um, we're getting a complete picture of what's going on here. Okay, and you can start to understand the behavior intent of these traders. So, for example, uh, uh, the intent of these traders here, we, we uh, acknowledge that... Uh, uh, they're not interested. Okay, so this is like fake liquidity. 
Okay. What about some of these other areas like down here? Okay. Or uh, let's uh, let's take a look at our, our swing. Okay. That, that that big swing down here at uh, nine nine uh, fifteen. Okay. Okay. This is what absorption looks like. Okay. And this is the distinction. This is how you're able to use your limit order book, uh, not only for the current market and gain, gain insight, but for much higher time frames. We are determining here uh, clearly that this is not fake liquidity. You'll hear a lot of traders talk about, oh, you know, I don't really look at the, the orders. It's all fake. They, they pull and add and play all sorts of games. Well, they don't. I mean, <laughs> they do. Uh, they do, but not all the time. Okay, and why is that? Because they're waiting in line to trade here. Okay, that's the only way they're going to get filled. If they want to get filled here uh, at this price level, they need to stay in the book, uh, and they did. Okay, we know that. We've made the distinction here. This is fact. Okay, so we determined it is real liquidity. Okay, and we're determining this. Some of these areas up here. This is fake liquidity. Okay, this is going to be really helpful. Okay, to understand the current condition and that historical condition. What if what if we come back and retest some of these areas? Okay. Anyway, uh, that's what we're looking at in Bookmap. Uh, if you guys are uh, all set up for the uh, uh, advanced order flow webinars, uh, then uh, we'll uh, we'll see you there. Uh, if um, uh, if you're not, uh, then um, uh, come tomorrow to this webinar and I'll, I'll pass out the link uh, to you so you can uh, get a feel for what we do in the uh, advanced order flow webinars. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks for coming and we'll catch up tomorrow.